And what is going on with everybody? It is your boy, Eric, aka Young Guy, going to you live in the White Dungeon today, giving it to you real raw well rugged. And I have somebody on the other line. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Who do we have? You can introduce yourself now. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello, I'm Lani Fesser. Um, I'm a retired porn star. And I don't know. <laughs> How's your here. day going? How's your morning or day going so far? What? I said, how's your day going so far? Oh, it's going good. I mean, I woke up like a while ago because since I work at night, I just uh, sleep like, and I get up like very late. So, I just had breakfast and I was chilling here a little bit. Took a shower and I'm going to a yoga session, so. <laughs> oh, you do? I was waiting for, for the interview. What makes you, uh, st what made you start yoga? Huh? What made you start yoga? Oh, well, I had some problems, you know, like, I, I, I needed to, you know, I had, like, I don't, I don't really have a routine, and it, it drives me crazy sometimes that I have, like, a lot of things that I take care of myself, like, I, I do a lot of things, I do, like, like, webcam, I do, I have my subscription page, and I have to shoot content, and it's everything, it's like a mess, so you need to relax a little bit and to take uh, care of yourself. So I started like a while ago. I started like a week ago, and now it's going better. Do you like? For me. <laughs> do you get stressed out a lot? Oh yes, yes. I mean, and I, 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 I guess that most, mostly of the girls in this industry, they are like that, because you don't have like a routine, and that, that, that makes you kind of crazy. You know, like one day you work at night, the other day you have to shoot, the other day you have to get up early, or you know, you, you don't have like a structure. So it's like everything is like a mess, and it's not good for for you. So you need to, yeah. <laughs> so if you think you were shooting like routinely two o'clock every single day, do you think you'd be less stressed? Yes, because I will be having like my routine. Like right now, for example, I I I know. I see that for example, years ago when I was shooting, I was still shooting porn. And I was working in strip clubs, and I was doing a lot of things. Like it was such a mess because I went to the strip club, the strip club like at eleven. Then I got home like at five, and then sometimes you have to shoot. You have to get up very early, like at eight a.m. And you have to be all like perfect. Your skin has to be like everything perfect, and it's difficult because you're you're so tired. Mm. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it's uh, now, for example, that I, I do webcam, I do, or I don't know if you can say, I do Cam Soda, I do, um, I do my OnlyFans, I do my pages, my main events, and this, I have, like, a structure, and now it's, like, more tidy, let's say. Even, <laughs> even, so crazy. even that you do have a structure, I have a headache, listen to all that, you gotta do OnlyFans, you gotta do Cam Soda, you gotta, you gotta do, like, I would be, yeah, yes, that's yes. crazy, I would have a headache. It's a little bit messy, but yeah. it's not like before. Mm. So since you're retired shooting, are you are you less stressed from that? Since you cut yes. that out your life? Oh yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, because um, yeah, what I was telling you, yeah, you, you you just manage your own like times, and I can say like for example, it works for me since I'm not living in the states yet. It's like I do my my time, my work time, my shift, let's say, for the cam, and, you know, I manage myself, my, my, my own time. I'm not waiting for a call saying, hey, can you shoot tomorrow? Yeah. You know? And, yeah. <laughs> Why did you retire? I, I'm, well, there are many reasons. There are a lot of reasons. <laughs> I, um, I think that the main reason is that um, I think that there's like a time for everything, and I I was having a lot of fun when I when I used to shoot, but also um, I think that that's that's past. You know, sometimes you have to you have to start doing like new things, trying new things. I wanted to try webcam. Cam soda works really good for me, and I have a lot of fun doing it. And I also wanted to try to do my own content, the things that I like, mm. that I want to do. And 
You know, when you shoot, you shoot for others, and it's their idea. You have to do what they want, how they want it. And, I mean, that's good too, but it's just like past, you know. And at the same time, I don't know, sometimes it's, uh, there are a lot of reasons. I can be talking about this, like, yeah. <laughs> it's difficult to find someone um, to be in a relationship. I mean, I know I know people that are in relationships while they're uh, doing porn, but it's kind of difficult. I don't know to find someone that treats you like like takes you seriously. Mm. You know? because at the end of the day, everyone thinks that you are, you know, <laughs> that you're a whore and all these these things. So I don't know. We have we have our little heart here. <laughs> so were you looking for like companionship while you were shooting? I had two relationships when I was shooting, when I was in my, in my career, and they didn't, it didn't go well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're somebody yes. who like, because I feel like I've, I've interviewed a, a couple porn stars at this point, and um, most of them, they seem like they're not really looking for like a relationship, they're not really looking for love right now, but... You are a type of person, you like, you want to be loved? You, is that like something you look yeah. for? Yeah, well actually, I, I am in a relationship right now, and I feel like less like stress, mm. you know? I, I am in a relationship right now, I'm, I'm with a guy, and um, we're going to get married this year, mm. and <laughs> I didn't say, <laughs> I never said, it. this is like, woohoo, big surprise, but um, yeah, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that I'll, also I, I'm, I want to do other things that are not porn related. So I'm just like moving. I'm still going to do my webcam. I'm still going to do my, my subscription page because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like this. I like to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, sometimes you have to move on in life. I don't want to be. What I what I I, I want to say is that I, I don't want to be like fifty years old and still doing porn. That and, and it's okay the girls that they do that, but it's just that I my, my way of thinking is different. I just want to build up different things. I started in porn for uh, with an objective, and I'm just going for that objective. That's it. Well, yeah, it's funny you say you're doing stuff. You want to do things outside of porn. So I do want to ask you like, what are things outside? of like porn that you enjoy what 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 when, things outside of porn you enjoy like things that doesn't involve oh, porn that outside, you like. like like the things that I like to do like hobbies or yeah. things like that yeah oh I have a lot of hobbies I do a lot of things I I don't have I don't have time in a day to do everything like <laughs> I like to sue <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> this is so crazy no I like I have a sewing machine I like to sue I like to play the guitar I also play the flute, but yeah, the thing is that now, for example, I love my, my nails, mm. my long nails. <laughs> so I don't I don't play the guitar right now, but I know how to play. And I love singing. Um, I love going out to concerts. Um, I don't know. I love I love cooking. I love baking, especially baking. I love baking like cakes, banana bread, all of those things. <laughs> I really enjoy. I love to bake. And I love to bake for my friends because, you know, if I do, like, a whole cake, I'm not going to eat it myself. I'm going to be fat. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I want to look like a whale. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, a little bit, it's okay, but... <laughs> what's your best... I, I said, it's so fat. <laughs> what's your best meal? Um, oh, gnocchis. What? You know what gnocchis is? I have no idea. What? Gnocchis? It's pasta. It's pasta, and it's Italian pasta, and they're like this, like this, like little walls, and they're made of the, the dough is made of uh, potato. How I do love you, potatoes. How, oh, do you, love how do you spell that? Gnocchis, oh, it's with a G, N, mm -hmm. O, mm -hmm. C, C, I see it, I see H. it, I see it, I see it. I see it. Hey, this looks disgusting. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. You have to taste it. This looks oh really, my gosh, so looks really good. nasty. 
That's my favorite meal. They look like like somebody like tried to like get some saltine crackers and like get fancy with them. I don't know. This doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, but you have you put like different sauces. You mm. know, it's, you have to try. It. <laughs> and you said you could sing. Like, do you think you have a good like voice, or do you just sing like for fun? I I started music when I was in high school. Mm. I went to a I went to a, um to a school that was like all day from seven a.m. to seven p.m. and you had like regular subjects like math, all history, all this shit. And then you had like like music. Mm. So I, st I I studied music. I understand. I can read music. I can read music in a in a in a piano. Mm -hmm. I can read music in a you know. So I have. It's not like I sing. And you know these people that they say, yes, I can sing. And then when they start singing, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I'm very humble, and I, I don't really sing out loud like that. I mm. sing for myself. I'm not professional. But I have okay. a sense of what it is wrong or, what, or right. Well, how about you? Out of tune, you know. How about you pretend that I'm not here, and you just sing? Oh, no way. <laughs> Come on, let me hear it. <laughs> you, you said I could sing. You see other people sing and they can't sing. Wait, like, no. no, no man, no. Come on, let me hear it. Give me, give me a, a, You know what I do? Sometimes, okay. I, sometimes in my Snapchat, I'm like, Ooh, you know, and sometimes I sing in my, in my Snapchat, but it's once, when, I, when I'm stressed, I do that when I'm stressed. Well, let's pretend that you're on Snapchat right now. Let me just, let me hear no it. No <laughs> That's funny. So, <laughs> so, is, sing, so is singing like, is that like your, um, how can I put it? Is that like your number one talent? Is that like you think you're most talented at, you think? No, I don't know. Um, like sometimes. out of every talent that you have, what do you think is like number one? Number one. Number one. Um, no, I don't, I don't think I'm like. Super, super good. It's I don't know. I'm I'm not like no. I'm not super good, but I'm good. Yeah, I love to imitate voices sometimes. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you more because you get it. You had to ask me to. No. Um. Yeah, and um, I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah, um, I know like a lot of. I know, I know how to do a lot of things, but I don't think like. I was I was in a band when I was in high school, mm. a band of girls, and we used to sing like ah, I used to I used to play the bass, mm. and the girl the girl the singer was like ah you know and I was like get the fuck out of here and I started singing then because she was an asshole and I started singing like okay come on someone's got to take care of this this situation so I, I started playing the, ba the bass and the and singing there but we used to do like Nirvana covers mm. and all these things. <laughs> what can't you do? You can sing. You can. You can do everything. You're just a multi-talented person. I don't know. I just. I just like to learn things mm. because I was like, I was like raised like you know very. I was. I was quite like not. Let's say like lonely or I have to independent. Mm. Independent. I have to be independent like from very little. So I, I had to learn a lot of things. How to do a lot of things. So yeah. You said just, you. Could, I being like that. You said you could also imitate voices. You're a good impersonator. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Come on, you gotta give me something. Yeah, so, no, no, I'm not gonna do. It. Yeah, sometimes I like to. You know, when you're in, a, in, in taking a shower like that, you like to, you like to imitate voices, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel like kind of. Uh, Singing like Gwen Stefani today or tomorrow, maybe I just sing like I don't know, like Lauren Hill. I love Lauren Hill and uh, oh, wow. and Chickies. I love like a lot of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can you give me give me your best Lauren Hill? I want to hear that now. I wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't <laughs> expecting Lauren Hill. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Yeah, you have to follow my Snapchat. For that. Yeah. Follow my Snapchat when I feel stressed, and you can listen to me. But not not always not. Because I, I like to, you know, people follow me there just to, just to, just to look at this. So, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I. You smack that really hard. That didn't hurt. <laughs> you smack that really hard. No, I always do it hard. Yeah. That's, okay. So that's interesting because I think women are weird because you guys like to get hurt during the, like, sex. And that's really weird to me. It depends. It depends who, 
depends who. Yeah. I mean, I, I was talking about, um, I remember they, they did an interview like years ago in, um, for a TV program here in Spain. And they asked me, oh, uh, about, they, they asked me about you know, fem, feminist porn. And I said, like, that's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay with feminists, but the, the, the feminist porn that they do, I, I don't really agree 100% because it's all soft and all like, uh, you know. And, man, I'm a woman, and when I have sex, I want to, I, I like it hard. And that's not what I, I, I don't feel represented by that. And I'm a woman. So, so it's just so a stereotyped, you know. Well, I'm, well, you just, I'm I, I'd like to, well, I've yeah. never heard of feminist porn, what's that? Huh? What's feminist porn? I've never heard of that. It's like porn for girls, and, and it's like more, it's, it's supposed to be like more soft, and, and for example, you know, in, in mainstream porn, always the guy is the one who comes, um, and the girl, if, it, if she doesn't come, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. But in the in the point for for feminist point or point for females, it's different. Always the girl comes, and and the guy if he doesn't come, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but the thing is that it's all like like soft and like this and this and this. And it's it. I mean, sometimes yeah, it's okay. But sometimes you want to do something more. <laughs> So is that more your style? Is that more you? Yeah, more boom. <laughs> you like the boom. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you you want to do something where... Yeah, but that is like sex. Sometimes you like it one way, sometimes you like it another way. But it doesn't, doesn't mean because we are females that we like everything. Like, ooh, to be so soft. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. No. That makes That's sense. No, that makes sense. I um I also do like to ask this question a lot because I feel like doing porn you would have to love sex, but I've heard porn stars say that they don't like they don't quote unquote love sex. So for you being a porn star, do you love sex? I enjoy sex a lot, mm -hmm. and oh I, I've seen so many things like I enjoy sex a lot. I really like sex. It's a way of distressing for me. And it's a way of, of showing myself. Mm. But I've heard, I've seen girls that they don't really enjoy it. They just do it. They just totally do it for money. Yeah. Or they just do it totally. I mean, I, I did it for money too. But I, we're not doing this because, ooh, you know. Mm -hmm. But there are girls that they hate some practices that they did. They do in porn. Yeah. And they still do it because it's a way of torturing their selves. Yeah. And and they're, they they end up fucked up in the in the head. I mean, you, you, that's why I, I was telling you before you have to take care of yourself. That's why I'm doing yoga now, and I'm like in this um <laughs> because you have to take care of yourself. Yeah. Right. And for example, I was I, I started doing this is like always they always ask me they always ask me why why Blondie. I remember uh, when I started my career, I started doing anal, and. And it was okay, but then I started feeling I didn't I didn't feel okay. Mm. Uh, not because I don't like animal, because I didn't like it doing it in work. And I stopped. And all the people were questioning me, why, why you stop? Why, why, why? And it's like it's a simple answer. It's just that I don't I don't I didn't feel comfortable doing it in porn. It doesn't mean that I don't like it. But I have to take care of myself, like inside. That's it. What's up? Why, why do people like anal so much? Like, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, like, why do people want to watch it so much? I don't well, know. people I don't like different things. Yeah. People like a lot of different things. And I, I agree with that, you know? I like certain things, and it's just... But, uh, yeah, they were like, boom, 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 boom with me. And I was like, hey, quiet, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> well, I, have a, I have a real question for you. It's my butt, okay? Yeah, 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 I have a real question for you because I'm just going to be very honest. I sometimes kink shame people. Do you kink shame people? If I, if I, what do you mean? Kink shame, I guess, is basically like, let's say somebody says, I'm into this. And you're like, yeah. ugh. It's basically like, 
judging them for being into something. Like, oh, you're, you want oh, this, no, right? No, I don't really, no, I don't, I'm not really like that. No, I right. understand, okay. I understand, like, for example, people with their, like, fetishes. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, well, sometimes, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see? You thought of, you thought of one, you thought of one. You thought of one. <laughs> you know what? There's sometimes, sometimes I'm in the webcam, and they ask me, oh, my God, they ask me so many, so much stuff. But, of course, there are a lot of stuff that I don't, I don't do. <laughs> this is going to be funny, but you, you've heard of this. I mean, everyone. But uh, sometimes they, because I have a big ass. <laughs> Man, this is funny. Because I have a big ass. And, and a lot of times they ask me, oh, can you fart in private? Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Man. Or, or they, I always say, I don't do anything with pee-pee, anything with poo-poo. <laughs> I always say that because I need to have something. Or they ask me, what do you, what do you don't do? That's it. That's my answer. So PP and poo poo is a no no. <laughs> That's funny. How often do you get PP and poo poo requests? Huh? How often do you get people requesting like PP and poo poo? No, not a, not a lot of times, but but let's say that sometimes. Mm. Sometimes, yeah. Or custom videos, like oh my gosh, no man. Oh, I do that shit. <laughs> were you like, were you like a class clown growing up? I feel like you're like a funny person. I feel like you were like the the life of the party. Oh yeah, yeah. Some people like, I don't know. It's the way I say things sometimes. I don't know. I'm like this. You seem, I don't like this. Yeah, you seem really fun. Like you just seem like you're happy, smiling. I don't know. You seem like a fun person. Is that like the yeah, good way to categorize? I'm usually, I'm usually like that. Mm. I'm usually like fun, funny. And, and sometimes I'm like quiet, you know, mm. like like this. For example, if I'm in a in a in a group of a lot of people, I'm usually quiet. If I don't know them, I'm like like this because I'm, I'm serving, yeah. you know. I'm the same. But way. if I'm with my friends or one or two friends or or you know, I'm like woo. <laughs> Yeah, I like to have fun. <laughs> now, I'm the same way. It's like when I'm around a lot of people, I'd rather just like observe and, and look and see what's going on rather than just woo, yeah. you know? Yeah. Why do you think yeah. you like that? Why, you, why I think what? Why do you think you like that when you get around a bunch of people you don't know? Because I don't like boring stuff. I don't like boring. Like, I just, I'm, I'm bored of people that are boring. And mm. it, it's just that, I don't know. I like to have fun. There are certain certain moments in the day that you have to be quiet and relaxed, and there are certain. I like to live my life. Mm. Let's say, like, like I like I like to live my life as if it was a movie, and I was the main character. Mm. And that brings things that are bad, and and good things. Mm. You know, so sometimes you are like you feel. I feel a lot, like emotions. So. Sometimes when I when something happens to me or little things, I get really excited and happy. And people are like, "Wow, well, you you got really happy because of this small thing." And it's like, "Yes." And sometimes I get sad too. What are the, just, what are the like, small things you get happy over? Um, for example, I don't know a lot of things. But, for example, like going for a coffee or walking around a nice place with somebody. Um, or having like a good conversation with somebody or going to a concert that I didn't expect it was going to be so good or I don't know, you know, these this little things or just buying some flowers at the store and they smell so good and I just put them here in a jar and this every, every, all the rooms smell so good. It's like, I don't know, it's so nice. <laughs> You're so happy. It's so, it's so good to see you like so happy because I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are just so like down but. You're just so upbeat and you're just... A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people, they live like robots. Mm. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. You want to be happy blondie. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah. Have you ever went through a phase where you were like, just, I guess, robotic and down? Like, where you weren't so upbeat? Just like a, like a yes. period of time. Yes. Mm. yes. How did you get out of that? Because uh, the, last, the last job that I had before porn... It was, it was in a factory. I used to work in a factory. This is so different from what I do now. <laughs> I, used to, I used to work in a factory, 
and I was working like eight hours in a factory and it was so like like everything was so boring mm. boring and because I had to I had to do things you know with, with the machines and with my hands all the time it was automatic do, 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 like this and and I had a boring life. I was living in a small town with no friends, basically. Um, it was, it was. I, I, I can't believe I, I was there like for three years. Mm. Oh my gosh, that was. I was so depressed. And then when I left that kind of life, I was like, woo! <laughs> because I was like containing myself, you know. I used to, I used to eat a lot of uh, edibles. I used to cook. I used to bake. I was depressed at that time. Mm. So it's a sad part of my life. I used to cook with marijuana. I used to eat a lot and sleep all day because I didn't want to fucking be uh, alive, let's say. And I, I wanted to be like uh, sleeping. And my life was like like routine, boring. That's why then I was like, yay! <laughs> so now that you're, you're not driving the factory now, you could dance and you could woo! You can go that's crazy. Why, that's though. why I appreciate things. Yeah. I that's why now I appreciate a lot of little things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really good. Um, I I feel like because you said a couple of minutes ago that you don't like boring, and I'm always curious if like on set when you were in the industry, were there ever times where you like genuinely didn't enjoy what you were doing? You had to like I guess put on and just like kind of fake it. Um, yeah, well, especially because when you're in the industry, you meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You meet a lot of people, different people, and sometimes, well, sometimes and a lot of, a lot, yeah, a lot of times you're not very comfortable with the people that are around. And I'm not saying the people that you're going to be in the, in the scene with. I'm just saying the people that are around, the cameras, the producers, there are some producers that they treat you not really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not saying here or here in Spain, but for example, if you go to Budapest, if you go to Prague, they are like big, big producers that they barely treat you like shit, like, oh, you're a fucking model, just do whatever I want, yeah. and I'll pay you and go back home. And and they, they, they make you wait, they make you, it's, it's, they, they don't treat you like, I don't know, like a human. That sucks. And that, that sucks. And... Of course, I, I I rejected. That's why I, I was very picky with the when I was like shooting. I was very picky, and um, but let's say that those those things happened to me when the the first time of my career when I didn't know mm. when I didn't know people. Well, you know, yeah. Well, so, were there times where when you were shooting, you actually enjoyed the sex that was going on? That it was like, whoa, like this is really good because. And there's like a lot of pausing and stopping, like, but were there times where it was like, yo, this is like really good? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you enjoy it, but you have to, you have to understand that it's like, it, it is, at the end of the day, it's fiction. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like a real, uh, it's not like, I don't know how to say it, like, it's not like 100% real. Mm -hmm. Because you don't, you don't get to, you don't get to cuddle. You don't get to do like pre things before the penetration or the sex. You don't. You don't really do that. Like for example, I, I enjoy like it's nothing to do the the sex that I can have with someone with someone that I love than with someone someone in the in a scene because I'm very emotional too. I have to say that I'm very emotional too, and I I wait a minute because my yeah. <laughs> the, the TV was going to to go, so um, yeah, it's 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 completely different. Yeah. Now I can tell you're really in touch with like your emotions and who you are, and like you know you're you got a very emotional and soft side. So I can tell. Yes. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just it's, it's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but yeah, now that you're out of that and you're just doing cam and web. Um, are there anything else? Because I know you say you want to do stuff outside of porn. Like, what are the things you want to accomplish, like outside of porn? Because you say you wanted to do other things outside of porn. Oh, the things that I want to do outside porn. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna tell you something, but I'm gonna tell you the whole thing because I believe 
that I haven't I haven't built it yet. So I I don't like to say it. I don't I didn't even talk to my friends about it mm. because I I believe that uh, I believe in energies and I think that if you talk too much before you even have something, maybe the idea is going to mm. to help. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah. So um, I'm very private with my private things. Mm. And um, well, I want to I'm gonna start. I want to start a brand for, for, um, I'm working on it for, um, I, lingerie. <laughs> mm. But, uh, that, that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know what, why? Because, you know, like sometimes here in Spain, like for example, you don't have like a lot of brands for big women. And I'm, I'm not huge, but for example, I have big ass, I have big tits. And even for me, I have very uh, like a lot of problems finding nice bras for me, mm. bras that I like, and I don't want women to be like. Imagine if I if I were like bigger. Yeah. The only colors that I can use is like three colors, like beige, white, and black. Hey, that like my grandma. Come on. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're bigger or if you're thicker, I, I think that you can really look sexy as well. With colors and with different styles, so I want to do something like that. Well, hey, I hope I hope that all goes well for you, and you become the biggest lingerie company in Spain, man. Hopefully, yeah. I'll love you. Hopefully, I'll love you. And I'm also curious. Um, you said you could sing. Can you dance as well? If I if I can sing what? I said you said you can sing. I'm curious. Can you dance as well? If I dance. So can you dance? Like, are you a good dancer? Yeah, yeah. Well, I oh um, well, yes. I mean, I, I, I dance. I used to be I used to be doing bachelor parties and street teas, you know. Um, I'm not a I'm not a super like for example. I used to do pole dance when I was 18, mm -hmm. but I can do I cannot go like up in the pole. I can do like spinning like circles. Stuff. How do you say spinning? Yeah, those kind of things. I I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna start now again doing that. Because I need to practice more and this. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I love dancing. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't want to hold you up too long. I know you got to go to yoga. Um, yes. What's, what's, what's up with, yeah, like, is there like a, is there like a favorite thing you do in yoga? I never took yoga before, but I know you have to do like do different little things. Like, is there like a certain practice or learning that you did in yoga that you really took like, you know, like really took came to? So, what? I didn't understand. Okay, okay. That was, that was my whole over the place. So, like, I know in yoga there's, like, certain things you guys do to, like, meditate and, like, calm down and, you know, do like, Oh, like, yoga. Yeah, yoga. Yes. Is there, like, a favorite